transport crashed into this box canyon, but I'm not going to be able to get this bird in there. Gabe, Leon, I've intercepted a radio message from Archer. Let me patch it in. What's the ETA on the drop? I need those men now. There won't be a drop. Choppers can't get in until the fire dies down. I've sent in our best squad via the highway to the south. They should be there by now. There's been a security breach at the base. Zing has escaped. Be advised that she may also be en route to your locale. Go to Coded Channel 641. Copy. Archer's bringing in his elite hit squad. Climb to 4,000 feet. They're going to be expecting me to come in from the north, where the tracks cut into the canyon. But I've got a better idea. You're going to jump? I'm getting good at it. I'll parachute through the smoke right on top of them. It's the one thing they won't expect. Leon, Doppler shows a clearing in the smoke. One click south. <coughs> okay. As soon as you're clear, I'll head there and wait. Good. I'll be there as soon as I get the discs. Gabe, those are likely Archer's best men down there. Try to keep your head down, okay? Right. Thank you. 
Logan. Looking for these? Damn it. Take him out, now!
so long, Archer. Need a lift? Got the discs. Let's go get Chance and the rest of the survivors. Teresa lost radio contact with them an hour ago. I don't think anyone else made it, Gabe. <coughs> Let's get out of here before we lose you, too. How long until we'll have Yan Thing? It will take some time, but we'll get the information we need. I have to leave for China today. He wanted me to remind you that Shi Hao is not a patient man. Still cleaning up your Gregorov mess. If the agency had handled it, of course, it would already be done. Oh, yes, of course. Just as your agent handled Yang Zing. After all, who could have foreseen that a sick woman would outsmart and outfight an entire military base full of trained secret agents? I would have killed a lot of you and replaced you all with combat. Yet, here I am. The problem, Mara, is that you are mistaking me for some stupid Euro-trash terrorist who actually cares what you think. Are we done yet? No, but it's enough for now. Archer's dead. Logan? Gone. Get a team together and get to the Farcom Exposition Center. NSA has already got a cleanup crew in there, and I want to make sure Fagan didn't have any other backup discs laying around. On the way. You don't have her. No. We won't have much time to finish processing the plasma we need as it is. You have you to- You will get your plasma, Doctor. Now get back to work. The FBI is looking for these fugitives in connection with a rash of terrorist crimes that have struck the U.S. in recent weeks. Our inside sources tell us that these fugitives are the focus of the FBI's investigation into the subway and park bombings in Washington, D.C., as well as the downing of a CBDC transport plane over Colorado last night. So much for going to the authorities. The agency has moles in every major enforcement agency. We knew we were on our own anyway. I think you should sue them. Those were awful pictures of you. Any luck yet? No. These are third-generation encryption codes. Leon? It'd take me at least a week to hack these codes. I'm gonna need the keys or there's no way to break into the data before... <laughs> you feeling any better? I feel fine. The serum I've given you will only slow the virus's effects. It won't stop it. How long do we have? Don't know. Never seen anything like this before. I'm no doctor, but the blood workup I've just done doesn't make any sense. All right, look. There's only one place to go from here, the FARCOM Exposition Center. Holman said that the agency was getting ready to do a sweep of the FARCOM files there. It makes sense. If Fagan was smart enough to make a complete set of backup data on the Siphon Filter project, he wouldn't have been stupid enough to store the encryption codes in the same place. The codes must be there somewhere. You still have a safe house in Virginia? Lawrence Mujari runs a lab out of a mortuary. Hey, I'm not dead yet. No, the place is a front. He runs the med lab there, freelancer. Mows the lawns to keep in shape. You trust him? With my life. He spent 10 years as a refugee from apartheid rule in South Africa. I helped him get into the States, and he's responsible for that serum you're taking now. He'll help us. Then let's go. We're running out of time. Look on the bright side. You won't have to wear a tux this time. <laughs>